Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And when the outside looks kind of like this, not quite warm enough to go outside and do all the things you like to do, sometimes you need some indoor games. And that's what this month's Trash Panda Treasure Box is all about. And if you're watching this video, then that means you picked checkers. Okay, so we've got your set of directions and then your how to play paper. You have all of your tokens, which are gonna make your checkers pieces. Um, I'm gonna go over those in a second. You've got your cork and your adhesive foam, which are gonna make a stamp for you and your chisel top foam brush. You've got your playing mat. You've two gold paints. One says crowns and one says board. The one that says crowns is for your stamps and it goes on the wood piece. And the boards is different because it's fabric paint. So it has more flex to it so you can roll your mat. And then you've got one white and everybody has a darker color, although some are red, some are green, some are purple, some are black. So what we are going to start out with is our pieces. So you've got newspaper or scratch paper, and we're gonna lay that down and go ahead and split your tokens into two groups. And there's enough for extras. Um, so if you end up losing one, that'll be okay, but there should be an even number that you can split into two groups. We're gonna start with the white paint. And remember to rinse out your foam brush in between paint colors for sure. Um, and this is acrylic paint and it goes on pretty thick, but you're probably still going to want to do two coats of that. So we're going to do our, all your white pieces. Um, and then while those are drying, you can do black pieces and then hopefully your white pieces will be ready to flip over and you can do the other side and then you can do the other side of your black pieces. And then after you've cleaned off your brush in between uh, your light and your dark colors, same thing. You're just going to go ahead and paint right on your other half, the other half of your pieces. And while all those are drying, we can come over and work on our stamp. And we're going to cut a crown shape into here. Um, and what I'm gonna do first is sort of mark off on the foam how wide across I have so my stamp isn't wider than my stamp handle or the cork in this piece. So my crown is gonna have to fit inside these two lines. So I'll do a bottom part and then probably three-ish triangles on the top. Crown is the traditional thing to use, but you actually could use anything. You could put a star, you could put a heart, you could put your initial, whatever you wanna do to show that this piece has been all the way to the end of the board and can now travel in either direction. Once you have it drawn on there, we're gonna cut out with our scissors. And then once it's cut out, we are gonna take that adhesive off of the back and we'll stick it right on to the end of the cork. So here is my crown, don't need those anymore. Take the adhesive off, and it should peel off pretty easily. And stick it right on that cork. And because I gave you paint, I didn't give you a stamp pad, um, when we open this crown container of gold paint, I'm gonna bring out the brush again. So I'm gonna show you on one of these plain pieces. Um, You'll take your brush, you'll dip the end of it into the paint, um, and then you're just gonna kind of wipe it across the foam. You don't have to push hard enough so it goes on the cork, it doesn't really matter if it does, but you wanna just keep it a light coating. If you have too much paint and you stamp it on, the paint is gonna squish out and you won't be able to recognize your shape. So you just want enough paint that it will cover the stamp and make a mark when you put it onto the wood token. See if I can get the light to catch this so you can see the shape a little bit better. There we go. And there is my crown, which will probably show up super nice against the white or the dark color, but it doesn't do too bad against the wood. Okay, here we go. Our fancy gold fabric paint for the board. And the reason that this foam brush works so well is because it's got this chisel tip. So it has these flat straight edges 
and all you kind of have to do is take that flat straight edge and line it up with the edges of the square that you're painting on your chess checkers board, excuse me. And if you start in one of the corners, you can just kind of work your way around. Um, but you'll always be able to keep that square shape. And it's a lot easier with this foam uh, brush than it is with like a regular paint brush. You see my other hand is kind of holding the fabric flat. So no matter which direction I'm kind of painting or pulling with the foam brush, it's gonna stay flat. And don't worry if you have to reload up the foam brush several times during a square, um, you should have enough paint to go ahead and get through. There we go. And although it, it doesn't look super gold at first, I promise it will dry in a nice metallic color. And once you've got those nice square edges, you can start on the next one. And on a chess, or excuse me, a checkers board, it's gonna be every other. Um, so always, always alternating. We'll get started on this one. And then once you have sort of your row started, you'll go in between those on either side, if that makes sense. So you never have two colors that are right next to each other. And again, you just wanna get it right up next to those edges and kind of pull out from there. And that chisel tip will help you keep those edges nice and square. Do the top here. I'm kind of just going around corner by corner. Sometimes this far side is a little tricky. It's even trickier if you, <laughs> it's even trickier if you have a friendly little helper. Uh, so apologies <laughs> for that. Okay, so it'll look something like this uh, when, you, when you get all of those pieces finished on there. And once you have the whole thing and everything is dry, you can follow those instructions on how to get started to play.